Hey guys, this is Rock King 3 bringing another live commentary, Forza 5. This is going to be a parts and tune to go along with that paint job I was talking about. Um, I got it tuned up pretty good. I'm up to 278th on the new uh, Long Beach track, the long version of that. And I think I have it working pretty well. I think it'll work really well on a lot of medium sized tracks, um, maybe a couple of the Road America tracks as well. But let's go back to the beginning here. First, what I want to show you guys again is where you can get this paint job. This paint job um, I featured in my last video just because it's so cool. So we're going to do a find. I am going to show you again how to get to it. AXT Tempest is the creator's name. We're going to do a search and you can download it right there. I do follow him, I don't really need to paint it again, but that's okay. I'll let it run through that. Um, but he also has some other designs out there as well. I would suggest to follow him and to grab all of his paint jobs. This one's really, really clean. He's got some really, um, really good ones on some other cars. Very, very complex, a lot of layers. Um, I was really impressed with his work. So let's go to the upgrade and look at the parts and bins. You guys have some parts to play with. We're going to do the first engine 7.0 liter V8 that gave us uh, 341 horsepower for 115 PI. That one actually goes down by one but looks like you can... Hmm. I have no idea why that's different. Okay, drive line we stayed with the rear wheel drive and we did the twin turbo aspiration change so lots of conversion parts on this one let's go over to the engine parts here we have the race intake we had the race carburetor because we all should be running carburetors well, we had the race ignition we have the race exhaust we have the race cams the race valves, the race engine block, the race pistons and compression, we have the full race twin turbo, we have the race intercooler, 45 horsepower for 5 PI, well worth it, and we have the race flywheel, lots and lots of parts. We're going to have the race brakes. the race springs, the race front and rear anti-roll bar, I have the race chassis, and no weight, stock, stock weight reduction on that one. Pretty much the only race part we haven't put on so far. We have the race clutch, which was actually 3PI, huh? I didn't really mess with that too much. Uh, we have the sports transmission. We have the race drive line. And we have the race differential. I was just looking at the. Um, looks like you actually gain PI by going from the stock transmission to the sport transmission. And. Not much of a change there. All right, we're gonna have race compound tires. And we will have the full race front, upgraded front tire width, sorry, 275.30s. And the upgraded rear tire width, 365.30s. Those are some big tires. Um, I did have to go with the heavy wheels on this one. We have the Asante's AF134s. 275, 30, see R19s on the front rim, and we have the R19s on the rear. Do, could not put any thinner, bigger wheels on that one at all. With the arrow, we just have one choice here. Go back to the stock, or do the adjustable. I would suggest staying with the adjustable, because you probably will need the downforce. Um, I'm not sure what the default downforce is for that. 
Um, but right now I, I might have a couple parts to play with just by skimming through here. Um, well, let's go through the tune. I got 26 and 26 on the tire pressure. Um, this is almost as low as it goes. I have it down to 223. Probably no reason why I couldn't take it down another one. Um, if you're going to take this and try to get some top speed, you're going to need to probably up this a little bit. Let's see, 225, 189. Looks like I might be at the top speed. Alright, so 225, 8, and actually, even on the long straightaways, I never take it out of third gear, so I don't actually use that fourth gear at all. So I'm assuming if I could get the fourth to match what third is right now, that I'd be able to go in fourth gear. Alignment, we have negative 1.6 in the front, negative 2.0 in the back for camber. We have 0, 0 on the toe, 7.0 on the front caster. 15.44 in the anti roll bar front and 38 in the rear. Um, that is definitely causing a lot of oversteer, which is what you need with that car. It just has a lot of understeer. And again, working with that, this is 401.3 front springs, 1064.9 in the rear. And again, that's to make it oversteer quite a bit. I have the right height down to as low as it can, 33. That works pretty good on that track. Um, it's a pretty flat track, so it's not a big deal. Um, dampening have a 9.9 and 9.8. Front bump stiffness I have 3.7 and 5.5. 5. I have full arrow on the front and it comes with full arrow on the back, which is adjustable, um, but you don't have to put on the wing to do that. It just comes stock like that. Braking force we have 47% in the front and I have 200% braking force. And this has really helped my stopping distance. I was really struggling with stopping distance, so I just kept bumping it up. And then I said, that, well, I'll just try it at 200. And with this at 47, I was not locking them up. Um, again, I don't use ABS, so be uh, cognizant about that. Differential, I have 28% in the front and 74% in the rear. This is partly what's helping me stop kind of quick. I'm using the deceleration of the engine to help me stop as well. Um, been a good car so far. I've hit it in the top 50 on a couple of tracks. Um, again, medium tracks, Silverstone, um, Catalonia was another one, the middle one. Uh, works really well. Really, really fast, fast accelerating car. Um, you can see there the 0 to 100 is 6.33 seconds, so it's quite quick. All right, and there's, uh, there's the tune and the parts that go with that. I will go ahead and upload upload this um, tune that I have. I don't know if I have one out here yet. Um, it's like Bmon. I created one for Bmon A. So we'll call this one Bmon S since he was the requester. So we have Bmon A which is actually not a very competitive car. It's fun to drive and it's good to put a skin on it. Um, I'll have to work on that one a little bit more but this S this S-Class car is going to be a lot, a lot quicker. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Um, you can either download that or uh, build your own. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one. Later.